It's spring. It's bee swarm season. Have you ever wondered what makes bees swarm? Well, I did, and I decided to find out. So, here's what makes bees swarm. I reckon encountering a bee swarm must be a pretty frightening experience and luckily one that I've never experienced. So what makes bees swarm? And if you are a beekeeper, is this very bad for you? I decided to find out and what I found out was that over winter, bees aren't uh, multiplying. Um, they're not hibernating, but they're sort of huddling in their hives to try and keep warm. And then as soon as it starts to warm up and spring is around and there's flowers filled with pollen and nectar, the bees start multiplying at a furious rate and then what happens is that um, either the queen is getting a little bit old or the um, bees can't detect the queen's pheromones anymore because there are just too many bees in the hive and so they start preparing for a swarm. Now this swarming process is part of the natural reproductive life cycle of the honeybee. And I'm probably oversimplifying everything, but I had to make it in a way that I could understand. So long story short, a bee swarm is when a colony, your colony, divides into two colonies of bees. So how do you know if your hive is getting ready to swarm? So they'll start creating these queen cups and some of them um, might have larvae inside and there'll be royal jelly as well. So you can see that they're preparing to get a new queen. So these queen cups will be visible on the bottom or sides of the brood frames. You might also notice a sudden abundance of food in the hive or that there's suddenly a lot of workers and drones and some of the drones might even be a little bit idle. So this is why regular checkups of your beehives is essential so that you can, especially in the springtime, so that you can detect if they are preparing to swarm or not. And if you find these um, queen cups or swarm cells, um, then what you can decide to do is to split the hive so that you are, I suppose, uh, forcing a swarm yourself, but only you are controlling that swarm because it's you who is going to be um, manipulating the hive to split it into two hives. Now, I've watched many tutorials on this and how to do it. And I have seen some beekeepers, they search for the queen and then they put the queen in a new hive that they are going to be creating. And they will look to see which frames filled with brood and um, bees they will send along with that queen. 
and then they usually move that hive to a completely different area so that they don't have drift which is when the bees return to um, the old hive so if you capture the queen they have this special little container that you can put the queen into to move her safely and then i saw other tutorials where um, they leave the queen there in the hive but they remove the frames with the queen cells on them and they put the queen cell frames in another hive so i think basically what you're wanting to do is to separate into two different hives the queen and the queen cells because you want the queen cells to um or the larvae in there to hatch out and create a new queen which would have her dedicated her own dedicated workforce so um when moore went to my farm he found one of the hives had queen cells and the other didn't Got it? Yeah. The queen cells? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what other else we have. No. Yep. Can you take a photo? Let me, I will yeah. press it. All right, Cindy. So, what we did from this beehive, which is a little bit, um, or let's say, less strong. Um, they had about six or seven uh, swarm cells. We took the fra those frames out with some bees and put, put in this nucleus. And we will talk about it later. But hopefully it will keep them calm down. They look very good and they got a super, half a super. And the stronger beehive looks amazing. Um, we took out two combs completely full and capped could be maybe like three kilos of honey and hope we can distinguish and say that it is um, lavender honey mostly because of all the blossoms here and we put another super we did not find any um, swarm cells they look happy with what they have and we should check them in the next 10 days again also those guys there okay ciao so i know this is oversimplified but i hope you found it interesting i found researching why bees swarm and how to split the hives very interesting myself so if you could like and subscribe, I'll be eternally grateful and I will see you on my next video.